Yo, 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 what's happening guys? Metaverse Melon here, how are we all today? We're about another video. We're currently in LA right now, looking through the map, been enjoying the weather. I'll put a few shots up on screen now so you can actually have a look, but we went down to a lock the other day, so that was really nice, barbecue and loads of good stuff He's as well. so cute. So, yeah, I'm all sunned out now. I've been out in the sun for a while, so we're gonna jump on, film some Upland content as well, back to Monday now, so I've got the week off work, so we've been looking at Blender and other stuff in the background. Uh, we're gonna try and like actually look at different assets we can actually produce in game and just like start to really, really home in the craft. We're gonna look into like the factory, the show, room we've applied for both of them now as well so uh, Granada Hills is starting to really come online a lot more businesses opening up as well and then we'll have the factory and the showroom approved soon hopefully um, and that means we can able to start producing our own assets and then sell them in our own showroom I did say yesterday about a share scheme and obviously a few players have corrected me and um, which is so true like you won't be able to obviously I need to have that asset to create so either if you create assets I can upload the file to Upland and then we'll do a split share revenue or we'll work out another way to do it as well but yeah until they bring that utility and it's really yeah thinking about it, it's not really going to work that way and that's one thing why I just really want to see want to see more like utility on layer one and I was talking about this a few months ago and yeah I'm like it's I wish I didn't have to bring it up again but I've been looking at other stuff like these layer two games and like especially with Tycoon it's just kind of gone silent right now and the way I see it is if like a team of four or five full-time like developers can't even like communicate with the community or like update or anything like how's anybody else got a chance of creating something what's on that same level because yeah every single layer 2 game what had some hype or some like kind of drive at the start it's just that like died basically and I know it's going to come back I know there's more updates layer 3 everything like that but it's just really hard when you're especially when you're investing real money into the game as well like so I think we're going to pull everything back out of layer two and just focus on layer one. And I think this is really the time with Sparklet coming out and everything that Upland really focus on looking at layer one utility with structures, with cars, with the transport, with like moving about using Sparklet. You need to add more like kind of demand to the Sparklet. If you're going to drop Sparklet on the exchange and there's not enough demand or there's the same amount of demand as there is at the moment, it's just not going to work. And then like you can't rely on layer two games, you know. I'm not going to put three, four thousand dollars or like eight thousand upex or whatever the amount is into a layer two based on a promise that it's going to be there in six months time when clearly and I'm promoting this on my channel as well. So like I really do love the game and the team and like it's nothing like that at all. Like the idea is amazing, but if they can't execute something like the idea is fantastic, but the execution is just terrible. So like. If they can't execute that with the level and the team they've got, like, how's anybody else going to like be able to, if that makes sense? Uh, yeah, it just doesn't give much kind of like hope to smaller developers coming in like if it's always going down like the api's always like got problems or there's always errors like you know it's it's just not and then when it's not when it is running perfectly it's just there's no like communication and stuff as well and um, you really need to look at that because if this takes a few more months to come online the the amount of resources now like it should have been like executed together so like when it dropped it would be like you'd not have all these resources getting dumped now because we've got a lot of nodes on tycoon uh, we've got like 93 92 and 113 and other people have got a lot more and every single day they're just basically turning resources now and like no word of anything currently uh, you can see energy's at seven like or and lumber's at three as well so uh, yeah it'd be nice just to kind of see if it's going to be an update and stuff as well like but yeah it's just i'm not too sure so what we're looking at doing now is selling off our assets and moving them back to layer one we're really going to try and like focus on the factory the showroom the racing our 3d assets in game and then also we'll be looking at behind the scenes to maybe uh, look at building something over the next couple of years but we want to build something like and then like execute it and like have it all ready and then like release it you know what i mean so it's finalized and finished so yeah if we can build assets and start to get good at 3d assets and stuff like that there's no reason why we couldn't hire a team to bring in an api and bring in all that kind of technical stuff that i don't understand but yeah if the team's gonna like build something and i'm gonna pay to get that built like 
I will have an expectation on them to get that built and to have it at a certain level as well that I can enjoy, other players can enjoy as well. And like the money's worked out beforehand, whether we run a fundraiser or we do other stuff in the future. But I'm not talking now because I'm clearly not going to be able to deliver on something and that's what I'm like, talking about in this video mainly. But it would be so nice to build something in the future what's just like ready to go. And that's why this new game what's looking at coming on Upland's like really cool. It's not the type of game I want to play, but like at least I've got a company and a foundation behind them already. And you know that game's probably gonna be on Upland for like the remaining time. So yeah, that's really cool. But I'd just like to like to see really like more utility. Like this layer one right now is like you know with the structures for instance. Like you know on Tycoon you got to level up your structures like your nodes. With these apartments, you know, it takes a certain amount of time to build an apartment. So, uh, where is it? Let's go over to here a second. Um, how long does it... Ah, oh, that's on sale. So, how long does it actually take to build an apartment in Upland? Um, let's go over here quickly. Not to that one. Are these all on sale? Yeah. Let's go over here. I'll just take that off sale quickly. I just want to see the time on an apartment. And then once we find that out, you can kind of do an extra like um upgrade kind of thing this is what i was thinking it's so simple like well i think it's so simple hopefully they could implement something like this but you've got like basically you plot a land and that pays you a percentage if that percentage goes down over time which it should do because like getting loads of upex not a good thing as well so i can't build that right now but it's 5800 spark hours so 580 spark hours is um 10 percent so imagine if it like was like a level one apartment was like an extra 10% to build like a level two, then you had to slate an extra 10% of the amount on the first one, if that makes sense. So it costs like 5,800 to build an apartment. Then you'd need an extra 580. So it would cost you like 6,380 to upgrade it to level one. And then that's 6,380, 10% of that to upgrade it to level two. And you could have like three levels and then your UPX yield on that property could be based on the actual development of the structure so it's like an incentive to build on that structure not just an incentive to own that structure so imagine if that structure paid like right now the base is five percent so imagine if like a level one paid like seven point five percent a level wait a level one paid like ten percent no so five percent for your base and then 14.7 is your high end right now so it could be worked into the gamified earnings but that's ten percent so if you went up three levels so you could go from like five percent to eight percent on level one and then level two could be like eleven percent and then level three could be like the 14.7 percent uh just something like that obviously like a lot of people have got better ideas than me but if you're gonna add like utility or drive to spark you've already got the public transport and like the private transport sorry so like cars uh, looking at airplanes and all that good stuff so yeah that's a way and a mechanism to actually use up spark or sparkler as it's going to be called but imagine having like kind of like the incentive for players to want to have to build driving up the spark exchange driving up all these other places as well like imagine if the building only brings in like say the plot of land brings in five percent actually i worked out this wrong and then like 7.5 percent if you build an apartment on it 10 percent if you get it up to level one 12.5 percent if you get it to level two and the 14.7 percent if you get it to level three so every player's got an incentive and like the spark demand just goes up as well it means there's less upex going into the market so like a lot of players will drop down on upex but getting loads of upex getting 14.7 percent is not always good when you're inflating the upex price all you're doing is pushing the dollar and the upex further apart because if every player is getting upex in game it's basically a but not most players aren't getting as hardly as much dollars as they are in upex uh, you're driving those two prices apart from each other like we're loving earning the upex don't get me wrong but like if you're piling that much upex in there's got to be like a way to reduce the yield but like also drive more incentive to like kind of spark and the actual game because then you make more sales so you don't start losing upex or like not growing as fast if the economy is like buying and selling more and like there's more incentive to like buy an apartment off someone else or like rent spark out or ask someone else to get spark on your property like if there's more incentive like when tycoon came out 
and everyone had that incentive to buy like uh, apartments and micro houses and like townhouses and to build all these nodes up it like the price and that drove so imagine if like consistently you had that in the game like collections uh, just a different way to like incentivize your kind of price you know so instead of just having like you could either put it into like the monthly earnings like different like level up your apartment or different stuff like that or you could actually tie it into collections like if you own the apartment and then there's a certain individual boost on each apartment and i don't think that's too complicated i think that's a really simple way which everyone understands like level one level two level three it's the same building it's the same scale it's everything so upland wouldn't have to change anything but i just think it would drive so much more demand to like the sparkler in the game and then when you've got the private transportation already so it all ties together if you basically like if you have the set of scales right now there's like so, like just a little bit more supply than demand and that's why the spark price is going down but if you just add a tiny bit more utility these scales are like the upex and the dollars like gone mad right now so that'll take a bit while to get back but right now with your sparkler it's there is like a lot of value in the sparklet, but you can just see like kind of it's dropping down a bit the demand because the supply is going up, uh, which is great. Like I love the airdrops. Like we're very lucky to get a spark as well, but there's got to be more like utility for the spark what's coming into the game. So it's all right dropping like ten thousand spark or sparklet or whatever it's gonna be into the game, but like as long as that's getting spent and not just dumped, if you know what I mean, sir. So, um, yeah, I do see like more utility coming as well. We're gonna like add as much to Granada Hills as we can uh, with the racetrack, the factory. Like we're gonna literally like sit down today and focus on Blender all day. Uh, different assets, different kind of stuff as well. I'm gonna like repeat, repeat, repeat like muscle memory. Uh, learn the hard stuff first. So we've learned the baking process, the lighting, also like the kind of the modeling. And um, now all we have to do is basically, so uh, we've got from start to finish. And now we just need to go in and like we're like basic we don't know how to model properly we know a few different shortcuts now and different stuff so now i understand the whole process i see it like like the clutch on a car when you're learning to like use a clutch you're not focusing on like kind of your mirrors like where you're meant to be driving you're thinking about the clutch more and once you learn that clutch you can focus more like kind of on like checking everything you know like yeah everything else comes because like that clutch becomes easier and that's what i kind of seen with blender with a baking process a light and everything like that that was a bit what we really struggled with so we spent like the last week really focusing on that and just understanding it messaging and like also watching like loads and loads of youtube videos so uh, now we feel like we're at a point where we can start to like model add different textures we understand the platform a little bit more or like kind of the software because it's okay like for me like to jump onto video editing and like kind of different stuff like that. Even sound design like a little bit more like I understand the program and what everything does. But when it comes to Blender like you know like a loop cut like I didn't know what a loop cut is but to people who are on Blender they know what a loop cut is and like to me it's like that's all brand new to me. So yeah and that's what I like about this channel as well we can actually go through the process. I'm not just uploading oh yes we've made a fountain or that kind of idea we're uploading like kind of the mistakes we make as well and then we're learning on the process as well every single month we earn some money we put into upland like paycheck to paycheck just like everyone else so uh, yeah it's really relatable that's what i like about this content i hope you guys are finding it really valuable as well uh, click that subscribe button if you're not already i uh, really wanted to jump on very positive i love the game of upland i love where they're going but yeah this has just really made me realize uh layer one is where the focus needs to be i kind of even went off myself with this layer two hype and the fomo a layer two and stuff like that and i do i see like a lot of creators with a lot of skills in layer two and it's nothing against them at all but if you're gonna get upland to the next level it needs to be consistent and reliable and yeah like i don't know what to talk about on some videos and then it's just something drops you know what i mean like if and none of the like the broadcasters are literally finding out as well so like if it all just tied together nicely and there's more communication like even everyone watching these videos i see like there's so many comments now and um about like kind of like just not getting like responded to or like kind of stuff like that and i don't like to see that in the community so it'd be really nice to really nice to like kind of i don't know it's kind of like it's a hard one isn't it like how it's actually gonna 
because I want to like put in a lot of like kind of dollars and stuff like that. But I'm never going to promote. It's not financial advice, but I'm never going to promote something what's like just totally reckless. If we was just playing off Upex, it would be a totally different kind of video and stuff like that. But like our main goal in every single video we've filmed for the last year and a half, like we are putting real money into the game. So I'm not just going to put like four hundred dollars into apartments for Tycoon and then three months later, like I earn paycheck to paycheck, and I'm like, yeah, it didn't work. But then I've promoted that and like other players might have jumped onto that. Like I'm not saying you should, but I don't want to give that example. Like I want to be completely real so players don't misunderstand because I talk about a lot of stuff in videos and like the players will watch video to video understand the process. But for a player or a viewer what jumps on right now and has not watched the videos like a month ago will start to be like, Whoa, this isn't good, but really like I'm very behind Upland, I'm very behind Tycoon. But, like, it's it's time to bring, like, more utility. Like, it's good having all these new updates and stuff like that going forward. Like, layer 3, layer this, like, whatever it is. Or, like, kind of these new features. But what about the features what have been, like, where's the transport for, like, the factories, like, the trailers? Where's all the stuff, like, kind of, your, like, your new menus and, like, the filters and all the different stuff? Like, there's there needs to be more kind of... Like, the foundation, like, I'm going back to the foundation again, but, yeah, Upland's, like, evolving and doing amazing, and, like, I'm loving the new stuff that's coming out, like, really, like, as a whole, like, Upland's, like, at the top of the game, but, like, go back and, like, fix the stuff what needs to be fixed, add more utility to the layer one, and then, like, we can actually, like, bring on the new players, sparklet drops, and everything's, like, kind of just together, it's like right now, like the like the blender, like it's not baked. Like it's two different things, like moving together, and it needs to like be baked together as a whole. And um, there's just so much like on the table, like just little simple things with like kind of the upgrades and properties, or even bringing in like kind of the transport. Like right now, even with the mechanic they've got, it's the same mechanic as the bus or the train. Like imagine when that actually goes from like property to property, or even when it goes on the actual road on the map, you know. Uh, different like location so you can go from city to city and you all have to go on the same road so it's not even like an update it's just like the line's not going directly across it's actually having to follow a road like kind of a sat nav does so uh, just loads of different little tweaks in the background I like, and no upland's got the skills and the ability to create that like if anyone can create that and upgrade that like it's um it seems like a moan but like they've brought out like spark the ability to like build and like transfer spark to other buildings it's like to me it's mind-blowing uh, everything what goes on in this game is like really like it's just it's everything i've wanted to play in a game and like i still stand by that so much like i uh, love this game i'll play this game every single day but yeah i'm not gonna lie like every single day coming on and like there's layer two might not be going forward like you don't know what's happening and then like in a week's time oh yeah layer three's out and then you've, you've got no time to plan like these city releases and stuff as well like right now we've got too many unminted properties so all you're doing is driving down the sales which is driving players just away from the engagement i see if this is down so if upman just don't release a new city or engage more players to un like mint properties so like target your over here you can see for instance you've got stockton with 8000 so you've got los angeles with 127 you've got Ta kansas with nearly 33000 you've got queens with 17000 so just for instance you could do like certain stuff like inside these cities already uh, just to influence kind of how many properties there is as well because there's no point releasing more and more cities. Like, I'm all for, like, the Genesis city release. I totally understand the need to. But this has gone down from, like, 44,000 now to 25. Which has just chucked on another, like, 30,000, 25,000 properties onto there. And it doesn't sound like much. But that's, like, eight, that's 7 or 8% of the properties what are unminted already. So the value or your, basically, buying power has just gone down 8%. Uh, your selling power, sorry. Because... The amount of now supply on the market compared to demand on the market so yeah this will be cool you can see this uh, 657,000 for sale and then 89,000 dollars as well uh, but i just want to see this number go down and then more players you know if more players see like you know when you get that notification like this property is just sold for it's like a buzz it's exciting and it'll be nice to actually see sales start to increase uh, if there's less supply there's going to be more sales like there's just guaranteed there's going to be more sales like we've noticed it once that goes down a bit as well uh, but i do really see 
I don't know what's going to happen with this as well because you do yes you need FSA properties you need all this but you don't need like in each city you don't need more than a thousand like you know you don't need to have nearly 300,000 unminted properties you need to have like more kind of affordable properties in the new city releases so like cheaper properties but like less of them so there's more like kind of demand but less supply so you're driving that engagement in as well and then you're just creating a good city release out of the same thing but like releasing a more expensive property in a bigger city so you can either like make it a small cheap affordable property and then the whole community is excited or you can carry on doing the same city and it's just going to be the same as all the other releases so yeah i'm honest because i love the game of upland and like i really do want to see the best for upland and like the community and like it really grow like i really do like say this with passion and like the kind of love for the game of upland and the team behind it but I do really see, like, it's, like, not limbo, but, like, there needs to be, like, a really kick. I, like, I know there's a lot of big things coming at Upland, like Genesis Week. Uh, really good stuff that you'll really, really enjoy. Uh, so that'll be exciting. But, yeah, this is kind of, like, the Layer 1 stuff and that as well. Like, I just want to see, like, more come to this kind of, um, like, the market and such. So if this goes down to even 200,000 over the next couple... Or probably three, four months, you know, if they, I've talked about probably for the last six months, but yeah, I do see it. I don't know why you would hold this up and like hold it at 300,000, or is there a reason? Like, I'd love to know. Uh, there's always got to be like supply for new players coming into the game. Like, I love that Granada Hills isn't minted out, but you don't need to have like 297,000 unminted properties. You need to have like less uh, supply. Uh, once the demand comes up, fair enough. Like if the player base is going up to like three x or four x, what they're talking about, like, like not what they're talking about, but they've doubled the user base coming into the game month after month. So if that's true, and like the user base goes up to say forty thousand instead of thirty thousand, you know, a day, uh, that would be cool. That's an extra twenty five percent of players potentially minting out. That should go down twenty five percent faster. Um, and then like yeah, maybe have more properties if there's like a hundred thousand players in the game a day. Yes, like that's you know. But right now it can't be taking. What will that take? That'll take about two years to mint out. So, like, there's got to be, like, it's got to be scarcity. There's got to be, like, some sort of, like, I need to get this property before it's gone as well, like the city releases. Um, so, yeah, that's basically what I'm looking at. I'm going to jump off and go on to Blender and just, like, kind of focus on that. Like, try and really get some assets sorted so we can actually upload them. Uh, start to actually add them to the website as well. So we'll give away the, the assets and different stuff as well. I want to build a lot for myself, but I will want to create some for the website as well. And then once I do sell them, they'll be completely yours. So you can use them in any licensed game. You can use them in anything you want to. I won't hold any of the rights at all. You'll have every single right for those uh, assets in the future, whether you want to use those commercially or monetize them in any way you want. So yeah, that's exciting. And really it's a, just a way I can kind of like help and support the community as well because i really like to learn blender but it'll be so cool to start to like build and support other players and like bring really cool assets into the game as well so yeah a lot of exciting stuff happening click that subscribe button if you're not already so you don't miss any of the content let me know what you feel about layer 2 and upland in general and kind of where we're going as a platform uh really looking forward to seeing like what happens over genesis week and the spark click kind of updates and stuff as well so yeah thank you so much for all the support guys click the like button share the video and I'll see you tomorrow for another video. Metaverse Melon, peace.